Hey ladies, what's up? It's your girl Terry K, and I am back with a new video. And this video is going to be my very, very, very first hair tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this very look that I am rocking for you ladies today. It's basically a wash and go pulled up into a poof. And so if you guys are interested to see how I achieved this look and what products I use, please stay tuned. Hey girl, hey. Okay, so right now I am just showing you all my freshly wet hair. It's not washed. I just spritzed some water on it so that I can go ahead and start off by using the first product, which is by UR Curly. It is their Soya Shampoo. Now, before I put any product in my hair, I'm going to section my hair off. You definitely want to make sure that you have some hair ties handy so that you can go ahead and get your hair out of your face and just keep it in a very neat section on its own. You want to make sure you get a good amount of product in your hair specifically for shampoo because if you have any products built up, you're going to be doing this at least two times. Um, starting at the roots helps me to get out any build up that is on my scalp, any dry scalp, etc. The final step of my shampoo process is to have hair clips on hand so that I can go ahead and clip up the section of my hair that I have applied the product to and move on to another section. So after I finish doing my entire head, I get back into the shower and I wash it out. Next I'm going to apply Karen's Body Beautiful Leave-In Conditioner in Sweet Ambrosia. What you're going to do is take your hair down from one individual section and apply the product directly to your hair. After you've applied the product to your hair, you want to take your wide tooth comb and you're going to detangle your hair starting at the ends, moving up your hair shaft to the roots. You want to make sure that your comb can easily move through your hair without pulling or tugging at the hair. So please make sure that you're gentle with this process but that you're also making sure that your comb can move from the root to the ends of your hair with ease. You'll repeat this process for each section of your hair before finishing the detangling and conditioning process. At the end of your detangling and conditioning process, you're going to want to take your hair down from each individual section and combine them all together to apply any leftover leave-in product that you have. Now we're going to do a little bit of deep conditioning on our hair. Go ahead and grab your conditioning cap and place all of your hair within the cap. If you have long hair, this may be a little bit difficult for you and you may have to employ more than one shower cap. Once your hair is within the shower cap, go ahead and set your timer or whatever it is you're going to use to keep track of how long you're going to sit under your dryer or how long you're going to have your hair within the conditioning cap. I've chosen to set my timer at 15 minutes and I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer with it being on high heat. Once you have let your hair dry for the allotted time frame, go ahead and take it out of the shower cap and give it a little fluff. For this particular section, I'm going to use a product by Eden Body Works. It is their all natural souffle in coconut shea. I'm going to start off this process by sectioning my hair into a small to medium section size. This is going to allow me better detangling when I go through each section because I want to achieve a more defined curl than if I were to just allow my hair to air dry or to just curl naturally. Next you're just going to see me showing you all my hair, how it ended without doing the final styling of putting it up in the actual poof. This is just my completed wash and go from cleanse, condition to styling. Ladies, that is it. Those are all the products I use in my hair to achieve this particular hairstyle, my wash and go poof. If you guys enjoyed it, if you want to know more information about the products, you can go ahead and look in the description box below. It will have all the information you need. If there's anything that I didn't go over in this video or anything that is not listed below or something specific that you want to ask, please feel free to reach out to me on social media. My favorites are Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can also email me. I left my email address below, so you can go ahead and email me as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you would like to see more hair tutorial videos by me, please give this video a thumb up. I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe, be blessed, be loved. Peace.